It was a frantic call. A sharp fall off a ledge at Banff's Bow Falls. Approximately six stories down on the ground, a young man lay broken and bleeding. Unbelievable. It hasn't even really fully sunk in yet. Jason Rosso, who lives in Toronto, is still in crisis mode, shaken by a call he never imagined getting, involving his 23-year-old son, Jaron, now living in Calgary. Well, there's been an accident, Jaron's been hurt. Rosso says he was told Jaron had gone off the trail, gotten turned around, and then... Thought he was taking a shortcut and ended up in a, in a spot that he shouldn't have been in, I think. And then he thought he could tra traverse the sort of descent down, and I think his footing gave away and he just... Slipped. The spot where he landed inaccessible by ground. So a long line rescue was used to get him up and out. He was then transported to Calgary. He had an insanely bad gash across his head to the tune of 50 or 60 staples. He's got some serious injuries. He's got a couple of skull fractures that are not non operable. They're not super worried about. They're sort of healed on their own. Uh, broken orbital bones, three broken ribs, uh, and a really, really bad concussion. Tough to imagine surviving something like this. The doctors are saying this could have been. Certainly a death fall. What? But this competitive power lifter is powering through. He's up and walking around and talking and eating and uh, he's groggy, he's tired, like concussion symptoms, but you know, for the most part, the doctors are pretty surprised at uh, how uh, quickly he's uh, progressing. With his son stable, dad has a new task, finding those who helped him when he was down. They very kindly donated their coat and shirt that got fully covered in blood, but I'd like to find that guy. Just nobody knows who he is. The Rossos say they'll keep looking, adding it's the least they can do after their heroes did this. The fact that somebody stepped out of their way, they could have just videotaped it and walked away. They didn't. They went and helped. So I'd like to shake the guy's hand. Tomasio Da Silva, Global News.